We're going to head now to NJ Burkett, who is live at Penn Station, where water was pouring down onto the C and E tracks today. NJ. E yeah, that's right, Liz. You know, for people who thought they could escape the torrential rain out here on the street and tried to go underground to escape it, I think they were probably pretty surprised because, yes, as you said a moment ago, the rain down below, the weather underground, was torrential. Hopefully we can get a look at some of the video that we've cut for you uh, from various sources in the course of the day. But, yeah, I mean, it was a torrent, absolute torrent, at the 34th Street station on the um, A. And E lines. And in fact, for a while, about 20 minutes this afternoon, uh, the C and the E had to uh, take out the local stops and they ran express uh, through much of Midtown. That was just to avoid uh, having the, the passengers and people riding the subway going down into this mess. But uh, yes, the scene was the same on the L train uh, as well. I'm told uh, the L train station on First Avenue uh, was problematic as well. So again, the uh, rain poured into the subway and the reason that that happens you know anybody who's lived and worked in the city understands this and I want to maybe pan the camera around this way you can kind of see uh, what we're talking about here these are the grates that you see in the sidewalk and the grates are used to vent the subway system in the event there's a smoke condition you want to be able to get the smoke out of the subway well <laughs> it works both ways when it rains the water goes down through the grates and into the subway the good thing about it is it was built Built for that, the system drains itself, and uh, there are no delays to speak of now. Uh, there were delays for about 20 minutes, uh, system disruptions on the uh, C and the E lines, but uh, MTA is telling us now the system is running on or close to schedule during rush hour this afternoon.